Hello and welcome back to Jade Empire. This really was the point of no return. We cannot go back to any of the rest of the game. This is pretty much linear from this point on and it's going to be pretty cool. It's a very nice ending to the game that we're going to come up with but before we get to that we're going to talk to everybody and we're going to start with Wildflower who we know now only has one demon inside her. Well actually technically you can't kill the demons so she has uh, uh, yeah, Zen is the only active demon inside her. Anyway, hello. I... no! I... Uh... Um, so, uh, what do you think of this place, Yeah, Zen? Find the Emperor. Face him. No matter what his daughter says, you can do what you want. What's the point of having a will if you do not enforce it? Okay. Uh, I no. Um. So, what are your thoughts in general, Demon? We waste time in petty errands while spectacular prey waits for you in the palace. Hurry up, Master. Ooh, I like this demon. <laughs> That's probably not the best thing to say. Um. How about you, Hal? What do you think? I can't believe we're actually inside the Emperor's palace. I must admit, I feel as though I'm trespassing, like I don't belong here. Uh-huh. Perhaps the Emperor can give me some courage. I seem to have lost mine. Yep, well, that's a good Wizard of Oz reference. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. Okay. Sky. We should keep moving. It would be most impolite to miss an appointment with the Emperor himself. Okay. Cool. Kang? I'm staying here for what I like to call safety. If you want to take a jaunt out of here, let me know. Other than that, I'm staying put. Um, wait a second. We can actually just go? I take it back. Apparently, the point of no return yet again has been moved. Uh, goodbye. Good luck! If you succeed at whatever it is you're doing, maybe later we can do some loops. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. That's weird. I suspect that um, maybe this is a problem for me switching from... Well, originally I played this game a lot on the Xbox, which was just the normal edition of this game. And this is a special edition on PC, which I have no idea what it adds. Maybe they added in a lot more chances to fly away. Anyway, Dawnstar. I wish we could have visited the palace under better circumstances. I feel like an invader in the heart of my own land. Let's keep moving. Okay. Fine. Um, Black Whirlwind? I thought there'd be more half-dressed serving girls with bowls of wine and food. What kind of emperor doesn't have serving girls? I know. It's a disgrace. Let's get going. Maybe he keeps the good stuff farther in. I'd like to hear more about your past. I'm a fighter, not a damn history book. No more stories. You've got my fists and my axes. That's enough. Let's find someone to kill. Okay, okay. And, um, if we can get her to talk to us. You want, you want, she's, she's just not going to talk to us. Um, okay, she'll probably just tell us to go in, so we'll just go in. Right. The palace is ancient. Ooh. Some say it Small was a celestial dog. gift. It shouldn't be misused. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gem of the Gentle Mine. Focus Shrine that we don't need to use. More jars to kick. There we go. More jars to kick. Go get all that money. Oh, that reminds me. There is one follower we haven't spoken to. And let's speak to him now. It is, of course, Zinbu. Ah, excellent. I have and many he has items some new stuff for, for us. He has um, a health plus seven. Mm. I guess he doesn't quite have the thing stuff I thought he had. Um, he has some more stuff later. We could grab that health plus seven, and it's pretty good. But I think he has some better stuff later, so we'll leave it just a little bit. But yeah, Zinbu will have stuff for us eventually. Okay, Imperial Soldiers. We can deal with these guys. Knock them all over. That block really annoying. And I should probably use block more. I'm going to need to actually uh, 
strategizing combat a little bit. But not against these guys. These guys are fairly easy unless I jump into the fire. In which case, that's not good. Right, knock them over. And we got them. And this that's them all down. Ooh, he dropped some chi for us. Oh, loading. So grab the chi, we'll head back through the door, I am uh, and then we will grab the focus. Cool. You now head up and see what else we got going on here. Right. Oh, he appeared out of nowhere. That's alright, we'll still kill him, but... Yeah, see, in situations like that, I should use block so he'll use his power attack. There we are. Oh, oh they look assassins now. I don't like that they poisoned us because that slowed us down a lot. Okay, there we are. Oh, that's a lot of blood. I'm not going to go in there because that will start cutscene, I'm fairly certain. So we're going to stay back out here and just hit him with our fire. Cool. Because I do actually want to have a look at these things around the edges. Oh, Greater Scholar's Gem of Fate. Uh, we don't need the health thing. Aura of Malice Gem. Ooh, what's that do? Uh, oh, we can also level up. Uh, let's grab the points in body because that's just the best thing to do. As far as I can tell. Then we gotta put our points somewhere. I think we should just put them into Dragon Sword. To be honest, that's what we use the most. Uh, speed increase? Yeah. And, uh... We, I mean, we do have some magic that's been upgraded. It's just we're not using it very much. But we probably should have used that instead of Dire Flame. Uh, book stand. We'll read that in a second. Just want to make sure we get all the pots. There we go. Right. The Lotus Monk. As far as we know, all copies of the larger text were destroyed, but I shall include a fragment below for your amusement. Protection of our glorious emperor has always been the purpose of the Order of the Lotus. The Lotus Monks are the personal servants and protector of the Emperor of the Jade Empire, governed by the Hand of Heaven Sun Kin. They are servants, guides, teachers, doctors, and spiritual advisors. With their simple robes and dyed hands, they are omnipresent and unpredictable force whose importance is disproportionate to their numbers. Anyone who wishes a presence in the court of the Emperor must in some way appease the Lotus Monks. Should someone displease the Emperor or offend the glory of the Empire, the consequences can be dramatic. Fortunately, they watch themselves as well as others, and any who stray are punished accordingly. How quaint. Blood stains the hands much better than dye. Limb. Okay, so that's the Inquisitor who we met a couple of times. Um, in Gao's Fortress, for one. The Celestial Order, Volume 2. The great dragon loosed chaos upon the world he had created, separating man from the beast and laying the foundation for the eventual order that would unite humanity, this glorious Jade Empire. The great animal spirits of the past were cast out from the human communities, and man was forever separated and elevated above the common beasts. Man it was now the order, guardian of order, imposing his will on nature and shaping it to his desire. But balance must exist in all things. Man was a bastion of order with chaos in his heart. For as long as the world remained in chaos, man will always war and strive against his fellow man. This is the way of nature. Until the great dragon returns to bring the world to order or humanity brings itself above the cycle of nature, this is the way it will always be. We received inner peace. We got all the book set. And that's a book set we've been working on a while. That has given us, if we go all the way down, it has given us four chi. Contemplation of the inner mysteries of one's own mind is a path many try to take to true enlightenment. Few succeed, for the for the many make the mistake of neglecting the physical world and focusing only on the spiritual. When all things are in balance, one spiritual being can ascend to a higher plane of thought. And we also got mastered evil last time. You have freed Yazen from imprisonment, and now the power of that demon is yours. He not only aids you physically, but his power insulates itself into your being insinuates itself into your being, as well as bringing out an aspect of him within you. Interesting. Um, right. Well, that's all of that done. Time to move on in. Um, yeah, time to move on in. I thought there was something else for a second, but I can't remember what it is, so it's not important. 
This is one of the many spires within the palace, where visitors are raised as if by the glory of the Empire. Without a guide, you could be lost here for days. Okay, good I have you. That it? Okay. Well, let's go then. To the throne room. Okay, right. Try not to damage anything. The Empire has seen enough disgrace. Okay, so Fox will not damage anything. Oh, I mean, apart from these pots. These these pots will... But we'll get them in a second. Tempest. Right. Just hit them, and then we can just... Get rid of them. Right. Jump in. Uh, excuse me, I need to go destroy some pots if that's alright all right with you. Right. Nope, we can't destroy these pots? Oh. Okay. Well, I'll try my best not to destroy anything. Unless there are destroyable pots. There we are. That feels good. Get the focus shrine. And... We are nearly to the throne room. Although my father has let these unseen parts of the palace fall into disrepair, these chambers are the tombs of past leaders. Mm-hmm. Who is entombed here? We would be here for days, and you likely know the most prominent anyway. Sagacious Tian, the first emperor, founder of the Jade Empire, and builder of the wall. Mm -hmm. Hormia, the Swift Era, defender of the First Age and commander of the Borderlands during the Horse Lord incursions. Sang Si, the Broken Bow, the first woman to rule openly. She changed more in a single valiant battle than many others did with entire campaigns. The latest are the tombs of two men who were greatly mourned. The Emperor's brothers, Prince Sun Li, the glorious strategist, and Prince Sun Kin, the Hand of Heaven. We should probably tell her. Yeah, this can't be the tomb of the glorious strategist. Why would you say that? Uh, cause Master Lee is the glorious strategist. That, that can't be possible, can it? Prince Sun Lee was killed 20 years ago, along with Prince Kin. Your master was lying, or perhaps testing you. Besides, you wouldn't want it to be true. Palace records say the glorious strategist was killed after trying to overthrow the Emperor. You mean like we're doing right the now? people were told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, were killed defending the Empire. Perhaps they fought each other, or were both traitors. Perhaps Death's Hand tried to influence your master before my father, but now you've called my father into doubt. I don't know what is true anymore. Um, have you actually seen inside the tombs? No, they have been sealed for 20 years. I don't have any more proof than what was announced to the people. I don't know what that is worth anymore. Mm-hmm. If Master Lee is alive, is it possible Prince Kin is also alive? And your next question will be, what is in there if the brothers aren't? I can't say, but my father will explain everything. He has to. But your conviction is disturbing. I will definitely bring this up with my father when we confront him. Okay. We are close to the throne room. The longer we take, the more questions I have. All right, interesting. Grab our spirit font. I believe this isn't actually a door we can go through. No. Uh, and we have the book stand. The Righteous Siege. A vague account of the attack on the spirit monks of Durge that maintains Sun Li and Sun Kin died in the assault. Despite obvious bias, some passages hint at the bloody actions that tormented Sagacious Zhu. Days turned into weeks as denial of the Emperor's authority continued. The gates of the fortress did not yield until cowards within were convinced to turn on their fellows. Victory was as inevitable as the tide, but losses were felt. Two brothers were claimed by crimes that remain unspoken. Least the heart of the Empire break with the telling. Death's hand rose in their stead to serve while Sun High returned to life. Returned life to the withered land. In the weeks that followed, the price of disloyalty was made clear to those in and out of the Emperor's honoured grasp. A difficult time full of changes that not all would accept, but necessity, necessary cruelties ensured that no one in the Jade Empire would ever go thirsty again. Interesting. 
Right. Let's keep going. Also, what was interesting about that book stand? I actually want to go back and uh, just mention this. Now, in every other book, this little bit at the top, right, was um, written by the person, was actually a writ thing written by the person writing the passage that we're meant to believe. So, say in the previous one, it was Inquisitor Lim was writing a letter and his bit was the bit at the top. And it said Inquisitor Lim at the bottom. This is quite clearly written by us. Or at least it's, it seems to uh, mention that it was written by us. Or like, it's meant to imply that. But, here's the thing. If it's not written by us, then it's written by somebody else who's talking about Sagacia Zoo. Which I thought was quite interesting. I believe that's the only book that does that. Um, at least that I remember. Unless it happened before, in which case I'm talking rubbish. Which, you know, I'm willing to believe. Look how much more damage we do with this sword now that our uh, speed has been increased. It's brilliant. We'll just switch to Tempest a little bit. Just don't want to get hit. We could actually go back and heal everything up if we got hit anyway, but... It doesn't really matter. There we go. Cleared that. Oh, game saved for me. And we can go. In to the Emperor's Chambers. Here it is, the entrance to my father's throne room. I doubt he'll take this intrusion kindly, especially not with... with the information we've learned. I... I don't know what my father has done, or what his reaction will be, but I want you to know something. Uh-huh. I care for you, and I want to explore what we mean to each other in more... intimate surroundings. Mm -hmm. We have to face my father and find out what has happened, what he has done. If we still can, afterwards, let's find out what we truly mean to each other. So, before we answer, I would like to point out that the other two romance options are standing right behind her. Sky and Dawnstar. Although I don't know if you can actually romance Sky as a male character. I believe that there is a um, like there is a video, as in there is a, a video file in the game where you can romance them. Same with female characters and Dawnstar. But I don't know if it's actually an option in the game. Because uh, there is a mod to add in the video files, but I don't know whether the romance happens without the video file. Anyway, enough about that. I want no one else, my silk fox. Hmm, that's right you don't. Now let's get this over with so we can return to more pleasurable tasks. The Emperor waits. Okay, well, let's go. I can only go. hope that my father has been the victim in this. I pray he has the answers I seek. Sky just looks shocked. The fate shocked. of the Empire depends on it. Mm -hmm. You received friends in high places. So what does that do for us? That is a technique. Plus five cheat, plus two intuition. You helped Princess Sun Lian see that her father is behind the Empire's troubles. Whatever happens, you will always have an ally in court, an asset that cannot help but buoy your spirit. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save. Because, uh, I'm fairly certain it's gonna be a fight. Of some kind. Yep, Lotus Assassins. Twenty years, Lee. I have waited long enough. Atone for your treachery and give me what I require. Look to yourself, brother. You would have done the same. I am the eldest, and therefore the emperor. I have you at a disadvantage, and yet you toy with me. What do you know, glorious strategist? Where is the spirit monk amulet? You will find out soon enough, brother. Father! Child? What are you doing here? I have important matters. And what have you done to yourself? You look like a common street woman. And who is this? You invite filth into the halls of my palace? This is not how the child of the Emperor should act. Don't lecture me! Master Lee's student brought me evidence from the Lotus Assassin Fortress. You allowed Death's Hand to corrupt the Empire! Master Lee's student... Hmm. 
I am poisonous yupping, and you are about to be humbled. This child, the very person who tested my Lotus assassins, brought to my doorstep by my own daughter. Brother Lee, did you plant the seeds for this fool to come here? Layers upon layers, always the glorious strategist. Mm -hmm. As I tried to say, Princess, Master Lee is the Emperor's brother. The lost sibling of the beloved Emperor's son, forced to hide at the edge of the Empire, until Death's hand brought him to me. Father, you said your brothers were killed. I don't understand. I don't blame you for your foolishness. What can you possibly know? The Emperor is the manifestation of divine power. That is your role as figurehead. How could you betray the people? Your greed has unsettled the whole of the Empire. The dead no longer sleep. My child, remember your place. I have no patience for anyone that challenges my authority, not even you. Kill the rest. They are unimportant. No! I won't let you disgrace the Empire! I am God, Emperor Sun! In my youth, I ruled dutifully. But nature does not respect titles. Withering drought, not battle, threatened to take my throne. But I would not allow it. I assaulted the underworld and claimed the great water dragon. And neither the treachery of my siblings nor my failing body could stop me. I am no longer a slave to time's decay. My actions have brought the Empire great strength and its Emperor endless power. Who among you would dare challenge my right to rule? Hmm. Here, face me. That glow. Brother Lee hid the amulet in plain sight and acted as his own diversion, just as Death's hand diverted attention from me. The obvious threat hid the insidious one. Do you even know what you hold, child? What truly led you here? Um, you have upset the order of things. I do what I must. But for whom, I wonder, do you blindly follow the will of your master? Is anything so simple? You were guided to me. What did Lee tell you? That I murdered your people and caused the restless dead? Side effects. Actor thoughts. This is about power. And I will add yours to what I have stolen. Even if you are impervious to my sorcery, it changes nothing. I am a god. Come, student of Lee. Your quest for death is at an end. Yep, that's a lot of lost assassins. Well. Time to face them. Wait. Let's try and get them all in a group. We can do and then go for the hit. Back off, back off, back off, back off. Tempest. Here we. And we can get everybody who's been hit by that AoE. There we go. Oh, that was satisfying. That's a kill. A whole set of them. Tempest, back off, back off, back off. Here we. There we go. Yep. Whole bunch of them. All down. That wasn't what I meant to do, but it'll work anyway. Oh, 
close to what I wanted it to do. Really didn't want to be poisoned, but that's fine. I'm going to roll backwards into this uh, health pickup. Tempest, that's what I meant to do. There we are. And get as many as we can. Cool. That was fairly easy. Oh, I did not save the game. The game decided to save for itself. For itself. Right, let's get over here. Kick the vases. Good. Gotta make sure that we uh, get all this money. There we go. Another one to kick. Uh, okay, focus evaded that. I think we've avoided... We've got rid of all the rest. Let's go up to the next level. Finally, a chance to face them. What is this? We claim all of you! Your defiance grows tiresome, student of me. You must learn your place in the order of things. More Lotus Assassins. Okay. I think we switched to Tempest again. Get everybody that we can. And just, uh, wasn't really what I was going for. Oh, wow. That hurt. Tempest, now proper AoE. There we go. That's much better. Okay. And one more hit. Wow. He's really good at dodging. That's that one down. What are you doing? Stop casting magic. Come closer. There we go. Ooh. Game saved for me again. Right. Uh, we'll get the extra focus. And I think it's time to go up. Let's face them. Fools! Can you not dispose of one defiant peasant? Very well. I will face you myself, no matter your destiny. You will fall here today! Okay. We got Mr. The Emperor. See how we beat him. So he's using Tempest a lot. Right. Oh, he's weak to sword. Well, that's good. He's now immune to sword. Okay. Uh, let's try hitting with a legendary strike. That seems to work. So now he's immune. Okay. But does he eat sweet sword again? Okay. So basically, what this is is he'll keep switching styles, and you have to switch to something different to hit him. So now he's immune to legendary strike. He's weak to long sword. Oh yeah. There we go. So when he's using a weapon, he's immune to weapons. So I think he's immune to whatever he's using. Yeah. Um, we just hit with magic the whole time. I mean, he'll block. But... There we go. Oh, wow. He's uh, ver he breaks out of those very quickly. Right, back up, back up. Double hit. into the AoE, because it's harder to dodge. We can just hit with our magic. Oh! This cannot be! I am Emperor's son! I am a god! Tempest. Oh, oh, okay. That was weird. That's fine. Back off, back off. Oh, right, because he's using magic. We can't use magic. I get it. 
Oh, wait, he switched to, which, switched to weapon. Uh, no, no, I think healing is definitely cheating. Definitely. Right. Back out, legendary strike. I'm deliberately not using my combo that can just win the game. Which is, uh, in case you're forgetting, Storm Dragon, Legendary Strike. Just because I feel it's a little too easy. Double hit. There we go. Double hit. Switch. Oh, I thought he was going to switch, so I tried to preempt the switch. Back off. Back off a little bit more. Kick. Oh, I didn't. I'm not fast enough with it to get the proper hit. In. He keeps healing. Oh my god. Right, back off, back off. Right, we're out of chi. Back off. I'm actually not sure what we would do once we run out of uh, focus. It's going to be difficult. Well, I'm gonna see. Probably Spirit Thief. I'm just thinking about it while we don't have to go in. Oh, that's not good. It's definitely not good. I want to be part of this. Maybe we want to keep him in magic form for as long as possible to lower his chi. I guess we'll heal Spirit Thief. Right. Heal. I think he's weak to Spirit Thief in all forms, which is nice. Hmm. Ah. So, uh, stay back, hit more with Spirit Thief. At least it um, also staggers him slightly. Ooh, ow. Ow. That's not good. Let's keep healing. Back off, keep healing. Over the top. Oh, that's not good at all. Keep, keep hitting, keep healing. Oh, that's good. That drain was nice. Oh, shit. Oh dear. That's not good. Right. Back off. Drain him. Yep. Good. That's, that's really not good. Let, let, let's get out of here. That's Spirit, that's spirit Thief. Back out of here. Get out of this. Get out of this. Come on. Oh, he's, he's spam locked. He stun locked us. Do you see this? Every time we try and get out, he stun locks us. <laughs> that makes me feel bad about not using it ourselves. Because that was complete, complete rubbish. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try that again. Um, hmm. What was the main problem there? I think the main problem there was using the chi to heal, to be honest. I think we should actually have kept the chi and used it to attack. Fools! Can or try and get his chi to start with. Mm -hmm. Very well. I will face you myself, no matter your destiny. You will fall here today! Okay. So I think maybe leave Longsword to start and go for, yeah, go for Tempest versus Tempest. Oh, he's immune, of course. So we should be able to hit him with Legendary Strike while he's in this form. So a couple of kicks. Switch to Longsword. Yep. 
I thought he was going to switch again, but we can go longsword again if he wants to go longsword again. When he goes weapon, we want to back off and use our Tempest. We want to use longsword while he's in that form. We want to switch back and use our magic. But he's in one of the other for uh, forms. Yeah, that was it. Perfect. No, no. Oh, oh good. He switched for him. Back off. Dire Flame. Because the explosion's really nice. No. No. Nope, not happy with that. He's gonna, I'm gonna hit him into phase two. There we go. Let's get phase this two. Cannot be. I am Emperor's son. I am a god. Yep. Right. Get over his head. Get over his head. Dire flame. Long sword. Over his head. Over his head. Dire flame. And just spam it. No, 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 no. He's healing up the fool. Well, at least he switched from what he was using. Right, back off. Back off. Dodge. Sword. I don't know why I tried to power attack there. Back off. Directly. Yeah, he switches quicker uh, in phase two, I think. Mm. Yeah, he switches after two hits in phase two. Of course, that won't affect him. Okay. Um, hmm. It's not easy. Oh, there's a chi thing in the corner. I'm gonna go try to get that chi thing in the corner. There we go. Oh, I think we have to swap it for health just because of how low on health we are. Right. I have to pretty much dodge every attack perfectly at this point. There we go. Right. No, no, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Legendary strike. Right, heal. Oh, this is not good. Right. Back off. Legendary strike. Oh my god, the knockbacks are insane. I can't even hit him. Every time I roll in, he knocks me back. Okay, hit. Stay back. Let's use Storm Dragon fairly. Give us a little bit of room. A little bit of time to play with. There we go. At least he switches at the same time every time for that one. A legendary strike doesn't appear to have any knockback associated, so he doesn't switch. I think we have one more hit, then we have to instantly back out, so. Oh, okay. We got a couple hits. There we go. Now we have to back out. Ow. Dodge over the head, back off, back off. He healed up again. Okay. Dodge. Switch back to Legendary Strike. Block. Cancel. Oh. Down again. Hmm. Okay, we'll try one more time with the uh, fair fighting. Th th then I'll show you the easy way. Oh, we should probably definitely get this Focus Shrine before we go in. Every time. Um, excuse me? Because, um, I'd like to say in the recording session that did not, uh, succeed, like, that, uh, the game crashed in, 
we I actually um, beat him without getting hit once. So th that's the reason I'm kind of switching to uh, this way of doing it. Because I feel it's a little bit more uh, suitable for the fight. Anyway. Let's uh, try again. Right. So, start of sword again. I don't. I keep pressing right to try and do it, the right uh, mouse button to try and dodge. I don't know what game I've been playing with. That's the thing. I need him to do his AOE so I can then go. There we go. AOE. Stand back. Now we can go right in and uh, get our hits in. Dire flame. Oh, I thought he was gonna switch. There we go. I think you'll care if he knocked back. That's fine. The problem is he switches weapons instantly with even if he's stunned, which is a little bit of a problem. Okay. And power attack. Oh no, there was no dodge. There was no way to dodge that. He started it during his other attack. We got him. Right. Phase two. We know he's going to heal fairly soon into this. So let's hit him with a stun. Then we'll go. Oh, kicks. We're trying to kick his heal to happen. We got him! Oh, we got him. He didn't heal. Cool. Oh, that was close. Everything has gone as it should. There's a great deal we have to discuss. I'm sure there is, my student. Your abilities have grown immensely. But it also does my heart good to see that you have remembered the basics of what I taught. Even 